everyone, Vetty here, and welcome back to another Command Block tutorial video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to build a working car inside of Minecraft. Now, I can't take all the credit for this car right here. I actually got this video recommended to me on the side of my YouTube, and it this guy's video has, like, nothing, at, and he does, definitely deserves a lot more for this little car he made. Well, not this one, but his own car. His name is Henry PH. I'll have a link to his video in the description below. Now, his car, it does not look like mine at all, and it worked. my car works completely differently, but the whole idea of using armor stands around your entity to make the design of your car it looks phenomenal like you don't have to make a car look like this once you have an understanding of how this thing works you can make whatever kind of car you want mine's kind of like a truck car hybrid thing right here <laughs> but basically that's what i stole from him this right here this is so i never wanted to make a car because i thought they were big and blocky looking but once i saw him do this i was like wow this guy deserves a lot more views for that video so it'll be a link to it in the description below now what he did was he used a mine cart to make his work i'm using a pig because i like the idea of using a pig because then it can go up inclines you can also use a horse if you want to but the problem is the faster the car goes the more it breaks up so let's just see how this car works so right now it's stationary the only way my car could start moving is if i pull out my key and the car can start moving. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get inside the car. So come right here, get inside my car. So now I'm inside of my car. Now all I have to do is just pull out my carrot on a stick and then my peg will go where I want it to go. So if I want it to go up an incline, he can go right up it. And if I want him to go down it, he'll go right down the incline. Now, as you can see, some of the armor stands are kind of moving. That's why I said the faster it goes, the more it can break up. So I recommend just using a peg. It's a lot easier. And then when you want to stop the car, just turn off it by pretty much taking your carrot on a stick out from your you know main area see so go off go off <laughs> so, this is so cool i love it absolutely so much so like i said basically all you're doing is just sticking a bunch of armor stands around an entity that is invisible and you can make a move however you like another thing he didn't show but like i said he seems pretty new to youtube is that uh, command blocks do have a radius, so if you go out too far, it will stop working and all the armor stands will fall off of it. But you can easily dodge this by just clone. Once you get once you get done building your car, all you have to do is just clone all the command blocks, and then if you want it, I believe it's 50 blocks. Don't quote me on that. I think on bedrock it's 50 blocks before it gets out of range. So like every 45 blocks, all you have to do is just set up some more command blocks and your car will never break down. Now, I also added another little extra feature to the car. So in case you have a world where you have command blocks implemented into it, but you still play it on survival, you know, you just added command blocks to make it more interesting, but you still want your car inside there. If you ever lose your car, I made kind of like a mount or something where all you have to do is just throw your key down on the floor, walk over it, and boom. <laughs> My pig car came right to me. So as long as we're in a vicinity of where we place down those command blocks, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. So it doesn't matter. So if you want to make this thing only work on roads and then, you know, have different cities around your whole entire world and you don't want to drive your car everywhere, <laughs> you could just set up maybe like gas stations or something like that where you could just summon your car in anywhere on the world. So you just go like that as long as you're near a set of your command blocks. Boop. There we go. My car is right here. Doesn't matter where I am on this world. It's kind of hanging out up in the air. So that's just another little thing I added on to my car. Now, this is actually a cool idea too for horses. Like, let's say you have a, ho uh, a named horse for yourself. You can set up, name your horse, and just use this little idea right here to just get your horse back. Because I've had that happen to me on survival. I've lost horses before. <laughs> I go off on an adventure with my friend. He somehow gets out, and then he's gone. <laughs> so that's just a cool little way to bring back anything so just like in his video i just named my armor stands a through z now you cannot have duplicates of the armor stands if you do it will not work we'll get into that more when we go into the tutorial but like i said uh, i just named all my armor stands a through z and then the name of my car was carp so you know what that's enough talking let's get into the tutorial it's going to take quite a little bit but i'm gonna try my best to explain it all right guys so like always with every command block tutorial the first thing you want to do is go forward slash give at self command underscore block and this will give you your command block another thing i recommend doing if this is your first command block tutorial ever watching i don't recommend it i recommend watching something very easy before getting started up on this but if it is i always recommend to do forward slash game rule space command block output and change that to false and what that's going to do is it's going to stop as you see right up in the right hand corner it says game rule command block output has been updated to false what that does is all those commands that are popping up on the side of your screen will now go away you'll never see them ever again so i always recommend people do that 
So to start things off, get your command block. And then what you're going to need is a pig with a saddle. And then I recommend, you know, just sticking them in a little area. You can even use a lead and just have them stuck to a fence post. And now this is where you're going to have to pause the video. Like I said, we're going to be using armor stands of all different names to make this thing work. Now, I already used A through Z just like uh, Henry PH did on his videos. So I already have that car set in here. We can't have two cars with the same named with the same name tags because if you do then it's just going to teleport to the other car and completely break all the armor stands you don't want that to happen so if you're going to be doing multiple cars down the line i recommend starting off with just doing a through z just do a through z so for me i already have a car in here with a through z so mine's going to be a a b b c c d d e e and then you know more cars just add in another e add in another e down the line you cannot have two armor stands with the same name please I can't stress that enough. It will break it. And then for the 27th name tag, you're going to need the name of your car. Now, I already used the name car. I recommend just using the name car. It will be a lot easier. Uh, but for my car, my new car, my second car, <laughs> I'm going to be naming it A. So 26 name tags, A through Z, and then the name of your car. Mine's going to be it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take that out. We're also going to need an anvil to rename every of the, all those name tags. And then we're also going to need an enchantment table later on. So first things first, once you have the name of your car, you can go ahead and crouch and name your car. So I'm going to name my pig it. <laughs> so there is it, the pig. He shall now become our mode of transportation, our, our car transportation. Okay, <laughs> so let's start off with our first command block. So the first thing you want to do is place down a command block up. Make sure you place it up too. Don't place it sideways so it goes into another command block. Always face them up. Go inside said command block. And now we're going to change this command block to a repeat block. Then we're going to go to redstone and change it to always active. I see that will change it purple. Now we're going to go up into our command input. I'm going to click that little plus sign to make it bigger. And this is going to be our first, our first command. We're going to make our car up here. It, <laughs> my car's it. We're going to make him invisible forever. And we're going to get rid of the particle effects around him. So to do that, all we have to do is type out effect at e for entity space bracket name equals and this is where you're going to put the name of your car in my name is going to be it so whatever the name of your car is you put it in there bracket space then we're going to type out invisibility <laughs> i always love this word it's one of my favorite words and then we're going to go ahead press space and then pull it and then type out six nines one two three four five six space one space true and that will make our particles go away so now once i back out of this boop our pig is now invisible so now i can ride it the invisible pig forever <laughs> so there is our first command block of it the pig if that did not work again here it is make sure that your name is the name of your car now second up on the list before we jump into any more of these command blocks what i want you to do is now just you know copy this repeat command block because now we don't need the regular one we just want repeat command blocks so what i want you to do is just come over here anywhere else it doesn't matter i recommend like i said doing it underneath the map if you're doing this on one of your test worlds just to get an understanding of how everything works and then later on down the line you're going to go under your map and build a whole car thing for your world <laughs> just come anywhere over here does not matter we're going to be getting rid of this and i want you to well i already have mine open but i want you to turn on your coordinates so press start settings go over go down and make sure you have show coordinates on right here see show coordinates on now find any spot really doesn't matter so i'm gonna go right here and mine is negative 158 42 185 it says it up in the left hand corner now what i want you to do is open up notepad get a pen and pencil what get a piece of paper and a pen and i want you to write down your coordinates yours are obviously going to be different from mine just look in your top left corner and you're going to write those down so mine is negative 158 42 185 yours is going to be completely different now what I want you to do is jump up and place a repeat block in that spot. Next, we're gonna go inside of our repeat block and then we're gonna go over and this is what we're going to type out inside of this repeat block. Execute space at entity space bracket name equals and then put your car's name in. So mine's gonna be it the car space and then we're gonna put in three ampersand. So ampersand space ampersand space ampersand space tp for teleport and then at entity again space bracket then we're going to put in name equals 
then put another bracket then we're going to press space and then we're going to do upwards bracket now i don't know if that's the name of these don't quote me on it <laughs> but i'm just going to call them upwards brackets space upwards bracket space upwards bracket and then we're going to go space again and type out facing space at e for entity space bracket name equals bracket like that so pause the video here make sure yours looks exactly like mine <laughs> can't stress this enough if you get anything wrong here it's going to screw up everything just make sure everything is right so that's what we want execute add entity name of your card name equals it space ampersand space ampersand space ampersand teleport at entity name equals bracket upwards bracket upwards bracket upwards bracket facing at entity name equals get that right <laughs> so i'm backing out of it now if you mess it up i, I can't help you i can't come into your world and help you so now that we have this little guy right here now we get to use that coordinate that we just wrote down so our coordinate should be right above where that command block is so we're going to come right over here and right next to our invisible pig command block we're going to come right onto this block and now what i want you to do is type out enter or right on the d-pad we're going to type out forward slash clone and then we're going to put in that coordinate we wrote down mine's negative 158 42 185 yours is going to be different and we're going to type that out twice negative 158 42 185 space and then three ampersands one two three there we go and then we're just going to press start and boom it'll take this command block that we just wrote here and place it right next to it and as you can see it has all the same stuff inside of it execute add entity same exact thing so now we don't ever have to type out any of that ever again oh yeah i almost forgot change this to always active sorry so <laughs> next time we place them in they will be changed to always active now the reason why i want you to do that because now we don't have to type out any of that and guys there's gonna be like 20 of these command blocks so this will change this will pretty much save you so much time so you never have to type out any of that stuff ever again so now we can actually get started up on this never touch that one over there that's going to be our little key to placing everything in without having to do a lot of stuff so now we're going to go back into this one right here that's right next to our pig one go into it and now we're going to change a few things around in here so first off we're going to go down to our first name equals brackets you see my little green thing moving back and forth right here we're going to go right between that where it says name equals bracket so mine this is where you're going to be putting those name tags in you should have put a through z and then had the name of your card so for you, hopefully you did what I told you to do and you just put A in as your name tag. If you're doing exactly like me, that's fine too. Mine's going to be name equals AA. And now what we're going to do is go over to our first upwards bracket and we're going to put in a one. Then we're going to go over to our second upwards bracket and we're going to put in negative 1.5. Then we're going to go over to our third upwards bracket and put in point eight. And then we're going to go over down to this bottom all the way at the start where it says name equals bracket. And we're going to put in BB. Those are going to be my two first name tags. This is going to be for our wheels of our car. So that's going to be the first one completely done. And if you did your name tags correctly, like I said, these are going to be my name tags. AA, BB, CC, DD, EE, FF, GG. So that's all it is. So now what we're going to do again is come right next to it. Place in another command block clone that in go inside of it go here go all the way over to the first name and then here we're going to type out for me it's going to be bb hopefully for you it's just b or if you want to follow along with bbb that's absolutely fine <laughs> bbb 18 what, what i forget the name of the uh the android for star wars whatever <laughs> so then we're going to go up to our first upwards bracket and we're going to put in now negative one go over to our second one this one's going to be negative 1.5 then we're going to go over to our third one, and we're going to put in 0.8. Just like that. And now for this one, we're going to go down, and it's going to be facing name equals AA. So that's going to be the first two wheels of our car. That should be the back wheels, I believe, of our car. So now when I back out of this, as you can see right now it says fail to execute teleport as if, fail to execute teleport as it. It should be saying this under here, underneath previous output. It failed to execute the teleport because we not we have not created the armor stands yet to teleport them in if it's saying syntax error that means you screwed something up inside of here and you're gonna have to go back guys i'm sorry but 
you have to place this in perfectly. It's really annoying. It really is. <laughs> so the first thing, so now what we're going to do is once it says that, and you know, you, it says it, and it says fail to execute a teleport, blah, blah, blah. You know, you did it right. We're going to go ahead and take out some armor stands. So you're going to need armor stands and wither skeleton skulls. Next up, we're going to place our armor stands down, two of them, and put the arms down on this side because we are in bedrock, and then place wither skeleton skulls on top of them. Next up, we're going to go inside of our chest, and we're going to take out AA and BB. And we're going to name our first armor stand AA, like that. And then when we change, <laughs> when we name our second armor stand BB, they're going to teleport to our pig. Ready? And boop. And there we go. <laughs> they teleported right to the pig. And those are going to be the first two wheels of our car completely done. Now you can only guess what we're going to do for the other two wheels. So we're going to come right underneath our first two wheels right here. We're going to go ahead and just press right on our D-pad up and clone in that command block. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just clone the next one in too. Up on the D-pad, clone it right in. Now we're going to go inside of this one. And now for this one, we're just going to go inside of it. Go over to the first name. So we already did AA and BB. So you can only guess what's next. This name is going to be CC. Go to our first upwards bracket. And the first one's going to be 1. Then we're going to go over to our second one. This one's going to be negative 1.5. And then we're going to go over to our third one. And this one's going to be negative one. Just like that. Now we're going to go over to the name at the bottom. And we're going to put in DD right there. So name CC. And it's going to be facing DD. Now we're going to go into this one. Plus go over to the side. This one's name is going to be DD. Or for you it's just going to be D. So DD. Let's go over to our upwards bracket right here. For this one it's going to be negative one. Then we're going to go over. This one's going to be negative 1.5 over and negative 1. And also, if you're wondering what these numbers are for the upwards brackets, that puts the armor stand in the exact spot. So if you're going to be making it, once you get used to this and understand how it's working, you could just change those, number around, those numbers around and make whatever car you want. You could change the armor stand's positioning and things like that. <laughs> it's completely up to you. So there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and move all the way down here. And we're going to be facing our DD towards our CC. <laughs> so now we're going to back out of that. So that is our second one's done. So now what we have to do is place in our two armor stands. Arms down on the side. With our skeleton skulls. Go inside of our chest. And we're going to take out CC. And DD. And then we're going to name this one CC. And this one DD. And boom. All four of our wheels are now on our car. And the pig keeps going up so but there's all four of the wheels done so now it's time to put in the outside of our car now what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed through to just get all my command blocks in and then we're going to start from there so just come right here one block away from where our wheels are at and right here we're going to go ahead and just press right on our d-pad up i'm going to clone in our command block there there we're just going to keep cloning them in you're going to clone them in five times down so that's one two three four five like that and we're gonna do the same thing right here one two three four and five so we're gonna have a total of 10 command blocks right here then we're gonna come over one from this one and same thing we're gonna clone in five going down so one two three four five and again one two three four and five there we go and then on the top one right here we're going to place in a command block like this right next to the top one and then one up and over we're going to place another command block right here and this is what we should be looking at so now that we have all those command blocks in place we no longer need to do the copy and pasting it in <laughs> so now all we have to do is just put in our names our numbers and we're pretty much done <laughs> so for the first one right here we're just going to go over you know go all the way over to our name equals and then right here we're just going to put in e e if you're following along with me it's yours should just be e but if you're following right along mine's going to be e e and then same thing we're going to go right over here <laughs> we're going to put in our numbers so mine's going to be so after the first upwards bracket it's going to be negative 0.7 then we're going to go over to the second one and this one's going to be negative 0.9 and then we're going to go over to the third one. And this one's going to be negative 1. And then, of course, we're going to go over to facing. And it's going to be FF. 
So it's just following down the lines, guys, the alphabet. So we did A, B, C, D, E, F, and now we're at F. <laughs> and then the second one over here, we're going to go inside of it, go into it, go over to our name. This one's going to be, of course, FF. Now for the ones at the bracket, it's going to be 0.7. Go over to the middle one. This one's going to be negative 0.9. And then we're going to go over, and this one's going to be negative 1. And then we're going to go over to our name, and it's going to be, of course, facing R, E, E. There we go. So FF is facing EE. And that's going to be another set of armor stands done. So now for these armor stands, we no longer need our Wither Skeleton Skulls because we have our wheels in. <laughs> so now what we're going to need is an armor stand. We're going to need Skeleton Skulls. And we're also going to need Iron Armor. So Iron Armor chest plate. Take that out. So place in your armor stands. Place in your Iron chest plates. Your Skeleton Skulls. Go into your chest and take out your name tag. So I'm going to need EE and FF. We're just going to name this guy EE and this guy FF. And boom, it will teleport right into our car. Next up is going to be GG and HH. So yet again, we're going to go into our command block. Go all the way over. Our name is going to be GG. <laughs> GG, I kind of like that. <laughs> and then... <laughs> The upwards one is going to be for this one, negative 0.7. Then for the second one, it's going to be negative 0.9. And then it's going to be 1. And then it's going to be facing HH. There we go. Then we're going to go into the next one. And then we're going to go over to name again. This one's going to be HH. Then we're going to go over to our four, first forward bracket or upwards bracket. <laughs> this one's going to be 0.7. I'm going to go to the middle. This one's going to be negative 0.9. And this one's going to be 1. There we go. Oops, you know what? I almost forgot. <laughs> we have to make sure that's facing towards GG. There we go. So, again, we're going to place in our armor stands. 1, 2. Put them down on their sides. Place in our skeleton skulls. Place in our iron chest plates. And then we're just going to name it GG and HH. And boom, there's our next set of armor stands in place. Next up is going to be II, so let's go inside of it, go over to our name, change it to II, go over to our first forward bracket. Now for this one, it's going to be 0.7. For our second one, it's going to be a negative 0.9. And then for our third one, it's going to be 0. And then for our third one, it's going to be 0.4. And then, of course, it's going to be facing JJ, so... JJ. <laughs> and then we're going to go into our second one. And this one, of course, is going to be named JJ. So let's go over to our name equals. JJ. Our first forward bracket on JJ is going to be negative 0.7. Then our second one's going to be a negative 0.9. And then our third one is going to be 0.4 yet again. And of course, JJ is going to be facing II. So now we're going to back out of that. Place in our armor stands, arms down on the sides, iron chest plates, skeleton skulls, rename it II, rename it JJ, and boom, it will teleport into our car. Next up is going to be KK and LL, so we're going to go inside of here, go over to our name, change that to KK, go over to our first one and put in 0.7, then for the second one, we're going to put in negative 0.9, and for our third one, we're going to put in negative 0.4. And then KK will be facing LL. Next up, we're going to go in this one. Change the name to LL. Then the first one's going to be negative 0.7. The second one's going to be negative 0.9. And the third one is going to be negative 0.4. And then, of course, it's going to be facing KK. There we go. And then yet again, place in our armor stand, place in our armor stand, put the arms down on their sides. Skeleton skull, skeleton skull, iron chest plate, iron chest plate. Rename this one KK, rename this one LL, and boom, it goes right into our car. Next up is going to be MM and NN. So we're going to go inside of our command block once again. Go ahead and name it MM. And then for the first one, this one's going to be 0.7. Then for the second one, it's going to be negative 0.9. And then for the third one, it's going to be 0. And MM will be facing NN. And now for the next one, of course, the name's going to be NN. The first bracket's going to be a negative 0.7. The second one's going to be negative 0.9. And then the third one is going to be 0 once again. And then it's going to be facing towards MM. 
then we're gonna go ahead and back out of it let's go ahead and place in our armor stands once again armor stand armor stand arms down on the side skeleton skull skeleton skull there we go mm -M and and boom and it goes right into our car next up we're going to be doing o p and q so name is of course going to be oo then the first bracket is going to be 0.3 second bracket is going to be negative 0.9 third one is going to be negative one and then of course it's going to be facing p the next one is going to be rp the next one for our bracket is going to be a negative 0.3 then for this one it's going to be negative 0.9 and then for the third one, it's going to be negative one. And then, of course, it's going to be facing our O. And then over here for Q, go ahead and name it your QQ. For this one, the first one's going to be zero. The second one is going to be a negative 0.9. And the third one is going to be a negative one. And then we're going to have that one facing our P. There we go. So now we just got to place in our armor stands. Now, this is where it gets a little bit different. We're going to go and place in our iron chest plates after we put the arms down on the side. And now, instead of using skeleton skulls, we are now going to take out creeper heads. So take out some creeper heads. Place those on the armor stands. Take out your name tags and place in your OO, your PP. And as you see, it goes right into the back. And then the third one is going to fill in the back. QQ. Boom. And that will be the back of our car or the front i don't really remember but it's getting there so next up is going to be rr and ss so name rr then over at the first brackets going to be 0.3 the second one's going to be a negative 0.9 and the third one is going to be negative 0.4 and then of course it's going to be facing rs then we go back out of that and the next one right next to it is going to be our s so let's go inside of here and we're going to of course change our name over to ss the first bracket's going to be negative 0.3 the second one's going to be a negative 0.9 and the third one is going to be a negative 0.4 and of course it's going to be facing our rr so now we can go ahead and take out our armor stands place down two armor stands place down our iron chest plates place down our creeper heads and then go ahead and change our names to rr SS and boom, it goes right into place. Next up, we have TT and UU. So let's go inside of our command block. So our name's going to be TT. Over on our first bracket, it's going to be 0.3. Over on our second one, it's going to be a negative 0.9. And then on our third one, it's going to be 0.7. And then it's going to be facing UU. There we go. And then on this one, we're going to go ahead and change it to UU. So name's going to equal UU. Then on our first bracket, we're going to put in a negative 0.3. On our fourth, uh, second bracket, we're going to put in negative 0.9. And then on the third one, we're going to put in 0.7. And then, of course, our UU is going to be facing... And then our UU is going to be facing our TT. There we go. Now we can go ahead and place in our armor stands. Arms down on the sides. Place in our iron chest pieces. Place in our creeper heads. And then we can go ahead and place in TT and UU. And that will, boom, go into place. Next up is going to be VV and WW. So change the name to VV. Then we're going to go over to our top bracket. It's going to be 0.3. Our second one's going to be a negative 1. And then our third one is going to be 1.2. And then, of course, VV will be facing our WW. There we go. And then on the one next to it, we're going to go over to our name and we're going to type out our WW for the name. The first upwards bracket is going to be negative 0.3. The second one is going to be a negative 1. And then the third one is going to be 1.2. And it's going to be facing towards our VV. So now we can go ahead and take out our armor stands, place in our two armor stands, arms down on the sides, place in our iron chest plates, place in our creeper heads, and then go ahead and change their names just like that and now we'll actually be coming back to this one this one is z this is for the last one this is what gives us that little thing at the top over there so we're not going to worry about that one for right now for right now we're just going to take out our xx and our yy so once again we're going to go inside of our command block go over and rename this one xx and then we're going to go to the first upwards bracket and this one is going to be negative 0.7 then the second one is going to be a negative one and then the third one is going to be one point four and then of course it will be facing our yy and then in the one next to it, we're just going to change it to yy 
Then we're going to go over to our first forward bracket, upward bracket. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong now because I've been saying it for so long. <laughs> and this one's going to be 0.7. Then one next to it's going to be a negative one. And then the third one is going to be a 1.4. And then it's going to be facing towards our XX. There we go. Now we're going to go over here. And now for this one, we're going to go back to using our skeleton skull. So we're going to place in our two armor stands, arms down on the side, iron chest place, and then put in skeleton skulls. And we're going to change this one to XX and this one to YY. And that'll put them right at the front. And now for the last one, for ZZ, we're going to work our way back up there. But let's go ahead and go in here real quick and take out our ZZ. And now for ZZ, we're going to go back inside of this command block right here. Go over and change the name to ZZ. The first upwards bracket on ZZ is going to be zero. The second one is going to be negative 0.7. And then the third one is going to be 1.2. And then we're going to have it facing our VV or whatever your V is. So now we're going to go ahead and back out of that. And now for this armor stand, we're just going to place down an armor stand, arm down on the side, place in an iron chest plate, and that's it. And go ahead and rename it ZZ. And that'll put it right at the front. Now there's just a few more things we need to change, but the car is 100% completely done. That is the entire car right there. Of course, we have to make it move and all that good stuff. But for right now, we have the whole car in place. So let's go ahead and just place in. We don't need those name tags anymore. That's Oof, thank goodness. <laughs> so what I want you to do now is we're actually going to take out some leather armor. So take out leather armor. Let's take out one, two, three, four. And then we're going to take out some buckets of water, cauldrons. And now we're also going to need yellow dye and red dye. So red dye and yellow dye. Place on your cauldrons. Place in water. Place in your red dye. Place in your yellow dye. Make two of them red. And make two of them yellow. Now we're going to come over here, and this right here is the front of your car, the one with the little thing sticking out the front. So off of this armor stand right here, XX, we're going to change it to yellow. And then we're going to come over to this one, YY, and change that one to yellow. So pig, please stop moving. There we go. Now we're going to swing to the backhand side, and off of FF right here, we're going to change that one to red. And that was getting annoying, but we have to place it up here on this one. And there we go. There's the backlights to the car. And there's the front lights to the car. All right, so now it's time to make it so our car can't move all over the place unless we have our carrot with a stick out. So let's get a carrot with a stick out first. There we go. So we want to make it so he can only move when we have our carrot with a stick out. If not, he'll just keep, you know, trying to traverse the entire world. And we don't want that to happen. So to start things off, we're going to place a repeating block over here. Go inside of it. And we're going to set this to always active. Next up, go into the command input. And then inside the input, we're going to go ahead and type out enchant at player. And then go ahead and put a bracket and put your name in. So mine's going to be name equals FedEx 2692 bracket space. And then we're going to put unbreaking one like that. So it's going to give you unbreaking one on your carrot on a stick. So now if I take out my carrot on a stick, boom, as you can see, it just got unbreaking one but what this will also do is as long as we have an unbreaking item in our inventory out as long as we have it in our main hand i should say it will activate this command block so now if we take a redstone comparator and place it coming out of that command block as long as we have an item with unbreaking on it in our hand it will activate that command block so that's why this car cannot move unless we have our carrot with a stick with unbreaking on it out next up we're going to place a block next to that and a redstone torch on the side. Next up, break out these six blocks right here. Place a piece of redstone. Well, actually, don't place a piece of redstone right here, but it will have to go here. Next up, we're going to take out our repeating command blocks once again. We're just going to place down three, one, two, and three. Make sure all the arrows are facing into each other just like this. Now, inside of the first one, we're going to be doing this, the same thing we did here where it says enchant, blah, blah, blah. Make sure this one is on always active, but we're going to make this one needs redstone. So we're just going to go in here and we're going to type out the same exact thing as we typed in the other one. So enchant at player, then bracket, put in your name, name equals, mine's going to be FedEx2692, bracket, unbreaking one. And go ahead and back out of that. Now in this one right here, we're going to change this block to a chain block. And we're going to change this one to a chain block as well. Now, these are both always going to be on always active, but for right now, leave them on needs redstone. Now, in the first chain block in our command input, we're going to go ahead and type out execute. 
at entity so at e space and we're going to put in the name of our car so my name is going to be it because my car's name is it then we're going to go at space ampersand space ampersand space ampersand space tp for teleport space upwards bracket space upwards bracket space upwards bracket and we're going to put in 0 0.2 and now in the one next to it right here we're going to say pretty much type out the same exact thing except we're putting a negative 0 0.2 so execute at entity bracket name equals it because that's the name of my car space ampersand oh sorry space ampersand space ampersand space ampersand tp upwards bracket upwards bracket upwards bracket negative 0 0.2 perfect so what this is going to do is it's going to make our pig teleport back and forth 0.2 blocks so it's going to teleport here back here back here back here back here back it's going to be doing it so fast that he cannot move so now what we're going to do is set the first one to always active and set the second one to always active now what we're going to do is place a piece of redstone right down here and now our pig shouldn't be able to move anymore he's just going to be kind of stuck in one area for a while but once we pull out our carrot on a stick he should be able to move see there he goes running around put it away he's stuck take it out he can run around all he wants come on and put it away he's stuck <laughs> so now i can go ahead and get rid of all of this right here give him some free roaming give my car some free roaming <laughs> put that back so we can take out my car on a stick come over here mr car and put it away and come over here no 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 don't go, don't go towards the redstone don't go towards that redstone i don't i don't want him going in the redstone or else the armor stands will go all over the place so let's go over here put it away there we go and boom done and i feel like one of my armor stands oh that's right i never put the oh no i never put my uh what's it called in the armor stand in zz i completely forgot in zz we have to place in a uh, shield so take out a shield oh man i can't believe i completely forgot about that so you want to put a shield in zz's hand right there so you should see right there in the middle you want to place a shield Oh, that's right. I have Unbreaking on as well now. That's right. Mm. Oh, you know what I can do? I can, uh, what's it called? For right now, just change this to Needs Redstone. So that means when, when we take it out, it won't activate anything. And we're actually going to turn this off as well. Now, uh, what's it called? The, our car can move around right now. That's right. Mm. Our pig might move around a little bit, so hopefully... We can get this shield on because we don't want the shield to be uh, upgraded. No, pig, pig, please. Pig, 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 pig. Come over here, pig. There we go. <laughs> we want to place the shield off of ZZ right here in the middle. So you just want to look right at ZZ and place the shield right in it like that. There we go. <laughs> I completely forgot to put that on there. That kind of stinks. Uh, if anything, if you're having problems with the shield, you can always just break the ZZ and put it in like that. So now let's go ahead. And change this over to always active. And then we can put our redstone back in here as well. And then we can get rid of these levers. There we go. And now our car shouldn't be able to move around. There we go. I was wondering why the front looks so weird. I completely forgot to put the shield at the front. There we go. Now, <laughs> now it's done. So now if we get inside of our pig, we just got to come to the middle. Get on top of our pig. Pull out a carrot on a stick. And our car will start moving. <laughs> so there is our moving car and then once we put away our carrot on a stick it will stop moving and now last but not least for our car we want to make it so in case we ever misplace our car we can get it back by throwing our key out and getting it back so right here next to these ones we're going to place in a repeat block here a redstone comparator coming out of it and then in front of it we're going to place in an impulse block so change it back to an impulse just like that now inside of this repeat block we're going to go inside of it and the commands for here are going to be clear, at player, space, bracket, put in your gamer tag. So name equals, mine's going to be FedEx, 2692, bracket. Then we're going to put carrot on a stick, or one word, and then space zero, space zero. And that will detect if we have a carrot on a stick in our inventory. So now all we have to do is just change this to always active. 
And as you can see, it detects if I have a carrot on a stick in my inventory. So if I throw it out. Oh, do I have more than one carrot on a stick in my inventory? Oh, I do. <laughs> I do have more than one carrot on a stick in my inventory. Boom. See, if I don't have a carrot on a stick in my inventory, it turns off. But if I do, it turns on. And now in the command block next to it, we're going to go inside of it. And inside of here, we're going to type out TP at entity bracket. Put the name of your car in. Mine's going to be name equals it bracket space. And then we're going to teleport it to us. So at player and then put in our name. Name equals mine's FedEx 2692 and bracket. So now if I throw my key out and put it back in my inventory, my car will come to me. So if I go right here, throw it out of my inventory. As you see, the comparator went off. Pick it up. Boom. The car comes right to me. And there you guys have it. That's the entire thing. Completely done. You have built a working car inside of Minecraft. Now, like I said, if you want to make it go... You know, I'll just give... Uh, I'll just show a demonstration of what happens. If you don't clone in more command blocks and you go too far for them, from them, you'll see what happens. Ready? We just got to get far, far enough away from them. I like how the pig's head is controlling the armor stand in the front. See that? But if we get too far away... Come on. I think it's 50 blocks. I'm pretty sure. There we go. See? <laughs> That's what happens when we get too far away from our car. Everything just falls apart. So where's my invisible pig? It, you here? It? Where are you? I hear him. There we go. <laughs> let's, let's bring it back over there. So once I get... Yeah, see, once I get close enough to the command blocks, though, it will retrieve my car for me. So right about here is a good spot. So now all you have to do to make it so you can go much, much further is find out the location of these command blocks. So just come right here to your corner, break down a block, and then right there, you're going to go ahead and pull out a pen, piece of paper, or just open up notepad on your computer. And you're just going to write out the coordinates that are in your upper left-hand corner. So mine are going to be negative 153, 41, 182. And now we're going to go over here. So we can go ahead and put this block back. We're going to go over here. And right from where our retrieve system is, we're going to come out right here. And we're going to get those coordinates. Whoop, whoop, we got to come out one more. Right there. There we go. We, now we got to get the coordinates for this whole area right here. So mine's going to be negative 143, 42, 188. Yours is obviously going to be different. Now we're going to go over here to where our car is, where it broke down before. And let's say we want to put another set of command blocks right here. We're just going to break down a block. Go up. And now we're going to go into our cloning command. We can now get rid of the last one we put in. And we're just going to write out forward slash clone. And then we're just going to take those two coordinates we wrote down and write them out. So mine's going to be negative 153, 41, 182, space, negative 143, 42, 188. And then you're just going to have three ampersands, and that will just clone the blocks at your location. So now once I hit start, boom, all of my blocks showed up, and even my pig showed up. And I think my pig's dying, so I kind of want to... I just killed my pig. I just killed it. <laughs> it is dead. <laughs> it's dead. No. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's absolutely fine if that happens. All we have to do now is get it back. I killed it. <laughs> so we just got to build another pig. So if, you're, if your pig dies, uh, the problem with Bedrock is there's no scoring or any UIDDs. So you can't make your pig invulnerable yet. Hopefully we get those commands in the future. Because then you could just spawn in an invulnerable pig or invincible pig, whatever you want to call it. So it can't die. But for right now, we just got to work with what we got on Bedrock. So let's go ahead. Let's get out our, our new pig. Because <laughs> pig died. <laughs> it died. There we go. And then we're going to rename you it. And then our car should come right back to it. There we go. So it doesn't matter if it dies. <laughs> but now if we go over here. And we we want to call it over here. Let's throw this out. Pick it up. Boom. Our car is now over here. And now we can drive even further out. So if I go in here now. I, I like how I'm holding on to another pig just in case he dies. So now we can drive even further out from this spot. I don't know why he keeps moving the armor stand at the front. I don't think my other car was doing that. 
you see the armor stake go, go, going back and forth? I don't know why it's... I kind of like it, though. It's kind of funny, but... As you see, we can now go way further out. And then, of course... Hey, look, he made stairs. <laughs> and, of course, if we ever want to, you know, spawn him back over here. Just throw our key out. Pick it up. And now our car is back over here. But there you guys have it. That's how you build a working car inside of Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.